It's an incredible pleasure for me to be here today to present a cabinet that looks like Canada. We have an awful lot of work to do. This is about you being leaders today. First call I made to him, uh, I said, Justin, uh, congratulations. Uh, I just want to point out that uh, I had no gray hair uh, when I was in your shoes seven years ago. Uh, so young and yet so cynical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was my, my main As head of the Commonwealth, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you all here this evening. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister of Canada, for making me feel so old. <laughs> In a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Income Tax, be now read a first time and be printed. This motion is deemed adopted. I am pleased to announce that the first plane carrying Syrian refugees will be arriving in Toronto tomorrow evening at 9.15 p.m. and the second plane will arrive in Montreal on Saturday. Et aujourd'hui même, nous avons présenté un projet de loi qui baissera les impôts de la classe moyenne de sorte que les gens aient plus d'argent dans leur poche à chaque fois qu'ils reçoivent une paye. Thank you for the opportunity to share in this important work. I am honored to be your partner and your friend. Merci. We shouldn't be afraid of the word feminist. Men and women should use it to describe themselves anytime they want. On January 1st of this year, Nine million Canadians received a tax break. Our government was elected on a plan to grow the economy, and these changes are an important first step in that plan. Canadians help other Canadians when they're facing tough times. That's just how Canada works. And that's exactly what we're going to do. There are those who think we should engage in heated, over-the-top rhetoric when speaking about ISIL and terrorist groups like them. We see things in a different way. The lethal enemy of barbarism isn't hatred. It's reason. And the people terrorized by ISIL every day don't need our vengeance. They need our help.